In this lecture, we're going to talk about making introductions. Introductions are part of everyday business, so it's essential that you're comfortable and confident when introducing others and also when being introduced to others. So one of the questions I'm asked a lot is whose name do you say first in an introduction? Well, in a business introduction, introductions are made based on rank and precedence. Gender is not taken into consideration and women are treated equally based on rank, not chivalry. So when making an introduction, the person who holds the highest rank within an organization would be considered the most important person or the person who would take precedence over the others. So in most organizations, that would be the president or the CEO. The lower ranking person is always introduced to the higher ranking person. So when making an introduction, the junior person would always be introduced to the senior person. So the easiest way to do this is to face the most important person and to say their name before introducing the other person to them. When making an introduction, it's always a good idea to give a little bit more information about the other person than just their name. That way it can act as a conversation starter and it can also make both parties feel more comfortable. Okay, so let's review the formula based on order of precedence. The senior executive always receives the junior executive. The name of the senior executive is spoken first, the name of the junior executive is spoken last. For example, if I was to say, Mr. Senior Executive, I would like to introduce Mr. Junior Executive from the LA branch. And then I would say, Mr. Senior Executive is our Director of National Brands. When it comes to introducing government officials, it's really important to do your research ahead of time on the correct customs of address. There are lots of really great ways to do this. One way would be to check the internet, and another way would be to check some of the great resource books that are out there on the topic. When introducing a client to someone from an organization that provides them service, the client's name comes first. For example, John Jones, I'd like to introduce Jim Smith, our department manager. Jim, John is our customer from Seattle and he's doing really well with our product line there. A government official always receives a non-official. For example, if I was to say, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to introduce Ms. Smith, one of the province's leading exporters. Here's a video that demonstrates the formula for introductions. Okay, so the way you make the introduction is you always want to face the higher ranking person who in this case is Ms. Jones, and you want to introduce the lower ranking person, Mr. Smith, who is a new employee with the company, to Ms. Jones. So if I was making the introduction, I would look at Ms. Jones, I would make eye contact with Ms. Jones, and I would say, Ms. Jones, I would like to introduce our new employee, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith has just started uh, at this location here in Vancouver recently, and he is from Calgary. And then I would look at Mr. Smith and I would say, Ms. Jones is the CEO of the company and she's just in town uh, for this week for the four meetings. And then I might even add something like, um, I understand you were both up at Whistler last week and skiing. And that will sort of give them an icebreaker so if they meet each other later in the hallway, they'll actually have something that they can talk about. So you always want to try to add a little bit of extra information if you can. So sometimes, though, you'll be in a situation where you might have to introduce two of your colleagues to a client. Now, who is most important in a business situation? Who would be the highest ranking person, the CEO or the client? Anyone? The client. The client. We never, the, the client is always, always outranks the highest ranking person within your organization. Because if you don't have a client, you don't have a company, so it doesn't really matter. So in this particular situation, we have Oprah Winfrey. along the lines of uh, Ms. Winfrey's been a client of ours now for the last 
several years, and uh, she um, has been doing a lot of work in whatever it is, or something like that. Yeah, the world. <laughs> okay, so that's sort of how we would handle that. So we would always want to face the most important person and then introduce the other people to that person and then add a little bit more information. Okay, so when you're making introductions, the key words are I would like to introduce or I would like to introduce to you. It is never I would like you to meet. As soon as you say I would like you to meet, it basically turns the tables and it gives the other person the power. You always want the power to go to the highest ranking person. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll take those